Well, Israel's political parties have significantly shifted since the last elections in April, as we know, mm -hmm. Aaron. Oh, yeah. Luckily, we have ILTV's Shana Fold here to give us the rundown. Israelis vote for parties, not people. And there's around 30 on the list with 120 spots to fill in the Knesset, or Israel's parliament. Here are the 10 parties at the forefront of tomorrow's election. First off, we have the Likud, headed by Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, the flagship secular party on the right of the political spectrum. This right-wing party advocates for a free capital market and tough security. Though it's technically secular, the religious groups in Israel find themselves most comfortable with Likud. Netanyahu says he supports a two-state solution in the future, but takes a hard line with regards to any territorial concessions, and has recently been giving the green light for new settlements in the West Bank. The Israeli leader is currently under indictment pending a hearing for corruption charges. Next, we have the Likud's main political rival, the center-left Blue and White Party, headed by former IDF chief of staff Benny Gantz, who would rotate leadership with Yesh Atid's Yair Lapid. The party advocates for introducing prime ministerial term limits, barring indicted politicians from serving in the Knesset, and amending the nation-state law to include minorities. Blue and White also vows to invest in early childhood education, expand health care, and re-enter negotiations with the Palestinian Authority for a peace agreement. On the right, we have Israel Betenu, headed by former Defense Minister Avigdor Lieberman. Lieberman has taken a hard stance on pushing religious parties out of the government, is a strong advocate for drafting ultra-Orthodox Jews into the military, supports opening businesses on the Sabbath, and is critical of religious authority over marriage in Israel. Israel Beitenu advocates for a creation of a Palestinian state that would include the exchange of some Arab towns in Israel for Jewish towns in the West Bank. Heading back to the left, we have the Labour Gesher Party, which is considered the flagship of the left. This party is led by Amir Peretz and hopes to increase the minimum wage to 40 shekels an hour, construct 200,000 public housing units, and increase funding for public health care. The Labour Party has mostly collapsed, earning just 4.43% of the votes. So, in a bid to return to its former strength, Labour and Gesher have merged. Moving back to the right, the Yamina Party is a political coalition of national religious groups headed by former Justice Minister Ayala Shaked. Yamina advocates for a settlement annexation, opposes the Trump peace plan outright, and wants more aggressive military action against Hamas and Hezbollah. Shaked is just one of two secular right-wingers on this party's list, with many members of the party in favor of a state run by Orthodox Jewish law. Also on the right is the ultra-Orthodox Shas Party, headed by the Minister of Interior, Arya Derry, who was formally convicted of corruption when in the same position back in 1999. Shas represents Sephardic Orthodox Jews and tries to end prejudice against their communities. The UTJ, or United Torah Judaism Party, represents Ashkenazi Orthodox communities. It's headed by Yaakov Litzman. His party wants to maintain the status quo in regard to religion versus state issues, like keeping young Orthodox people out of the army. To the left is a new party called the Democratic Union, a merger between Meretz and a few other left-wing parties. It's headed by Nitzan Horowitz. Former Prime Minister Ehud Barak helped create this party, which says they will not join forces with the right. The party supports a Palestinian state, more minority rights, and calls for taxing the rich. Next up is the Joint Arab List Party, headed by Ayman Odeh. This party is the only to represent the Arab community. It unites the Khadash, Ra'am, Balad, and Ta'al parties. The joint list supports a two-state solution and campaigns for Arab and minority rights. On the opposite side of the spectrum is the Otsma Yehudit party, or Jewish power. In English, a far-right party that follows the word of Rabbi Kahana, who is heavily criticized for spreading anti-Arab sentiment. With Itamar ben Gvir at its head, the group is considered the most extreme right on the party on the list and calls for the destruction of the Oslo Accords and taking over the Temple Mount back from Jordanian authorities. Well, I could go on for days, but I'll wrap it up here. Make sure to vote.